This is Twit. Okay, Keith says, I use Affinity Photo on the Mac Love for photo it. Ed- editing. I just wonder if you have any comments or suggestions on the iOS app. It's 20 pounds. I'm in the UK, so that's around $27. Before I buy, I'd just like some further information, particularly on usability on the iPad. I do have an Apple Pencil. Well, um, Affinity Photo, okay, so I have mixed feelings about Affinity Photo because it is uh, a power tool, and you can do, it's pretty much Photoshop, uh, and and if you like it on the Mac, you'd probably like it on the uh, iPad. The the only maybe issue. Let me take a, a picture and uh, and show you what we can do with it here. So we're gonna edit this picture. The issue on the iMac on the iPad becomes see the icons and these are by the way you'll recognize these. These look exactly the same mm. as on the Mac, but they're a little small. They're probably as small as you can get and still have them be touchable. And of course, if you're using the pencil, no problem at all. You could tap those pretty pretty accurately i think this is a i mean a stunning program but you'll probably use it a little bit differently on the ipad than you might use it on the uh on the on the mac because you're going to use the kind of the larger gestures and you know but look i mean you, you still have access to, they what they did with this program is kind of amazing i mean they built in all the features of a desktop photo editing program including look at he this is like photoshop i mean you, <laughs> And and then added you know all the all the all the benefits of a drawing program to the to a photo program, so this is really a powerful tool. Um, I think workflow with this is a little more cum cumbersome because it's just God, there's so many things they put everything into it right. So to me, no, oh, I've really ruined that picture. <laughs> Come back! Holy cow! Holy, where's the undo button? Um. There you go. Whew. Whew. That's, a, that's a relief. I love that photo. I know. It always feels like this show, really. It's, it actually, I ruined this photo with Affinity because I, um, who's the bird and who's the seal? Mm -hmm. Some days you're the bird and some days you're the seal. <laughs> I ruined it because I uh, brightened up the rock too much, right? And it, and it distracts from the, this, the uh, sea lion and the I flightless cormorant. The actual picture of the rock is a little bit uh, darker, but I but I was playing with it. I mean, it's pretty cool what you can do, and you can see. I mean, because the iPad is, has touch gestures, it really does give you the capability of doing some very detailed work. This is a this is worth twenty pounds, I would say. It's nineteen ninety nine in the U S. Wow, so so yeah, that's nice. Isn't that nice how they do that exchange rate thing? <laughs> Jeez, um, I think this is a really amazing tool, and if you're serious about using your eye here's the thing if you're serious about using your ipad for photo editing there's nothing at this level uh but many people choose to use simpler programs like snapseed mm -hmm. which are kind of designed for a touch environment and, and free. but don't give you nearly here's my new car by the way do you like it mm. don't give you nearly the kinds of refinement but you, you can see this is what google thinks a a touch environment should have just a bunch of you know pics like this um, and so it depends really, I guess it comes back to what you're going to do on your iPad versus on your desktop. Mm -hmm. There's nothing like affinity photo. I think it's really, really good. Pixelmator is pretty close. I think it's roughly the same uh, cost. Well, that was the, what we were talking about last week, you know, iOS being a totally different, um, OS than Mac OS. And, you know, it's a bummer that you have to pay for a Mac app and pay a lot again for an iPad app, but they're, you know, the developers have to develop two different apps. 20 bucks or 20 pounds is not a lot of money for a program that is effectively Photoshop. But that you've already what paid for on your Mac. Yeah, but what is Photoshop? Yeah, you're right. And by the way, Adobe gives away their much stripped down versions of Lightroom and Photoshop for iOS, but they expect you to have a subscription. Mm -hmm. So, subscriptions. Yeah. I, I think I would say buy it. I don't think you'll regret it. 20 Bye, pounds. Keith. Depends on how important, how much 20 pounds means If to you. you regret it, write me a letter and I will take um, $27 out of Leo's yeah. wallet and send it to you. <laughs> I'm That's kind of annoying that they charge 20 pounds and 20 bucks in the U.S. Yeah, it is annoying.